What's good YouTube? In today's video, I want to highlight this video from Jim's iView YouTube channel. He highlighted a video from Kwame talking to Carl Malone's daughter about the most recent backlash her father is facing after NBA All-Star Weekend, man. I did a couple of videos covering how Carl Malone is facing some backlash again because of Bomani Jones brought up his past history on his show with HBO and um, you know, that caused a lot of controversy. A lot of people started talking about it, like Rob Parker. Carl Malone eventually responded. He pretty much said he doesn't have anything to say. That's his business. He doesn't care about the backlash. And um, yeah, man, I also highlighted his son, KJ, responded to some of the backlash. That video was two years ago. I had posted that on my YouTube channel. And most recently, Kwame talked to Carl Malone's daughter. And with that being said, I don't want to hold you guys too long. Let's highlight this clip. And then I'll be right back with some more commentary. Here's the video. So listen, I'm talking about the Chris Brown situation. And then you, and he, Chris Brown brought up an interesting point about the hypocrisy in the media of how he keeps getting bashed for the same thing over and over that he did as a 17 year old kid. Even after him and Rihanna made a song together, ain't nobody's business. Even after they got back together, it's the fans and the people want to keep uh, bringing this up because they can get some clicks and views. But he showed that they don't do that to Mel Gibson and Sean Penn and all of these other white uh, actresses. Uh, but then your father's name came up uh, on Twitter and all these things. And I was telling people how you guys have moved on from that. You and your brother have a better relationship with him. Can you kind of tell your feelings about the situation? I'm just like, like Chris Brown and Rihanna said, first off, it ain't nobody business. Like everybody has moved on. That son was actually with us in um, Utah this weekend. Uh, that was brought up and everything is just that everybody has moved on. That was 40 years ago. Nobody is perfect. Um, and we see on, on the thing all the time, people attacking us all the time. We got kids that are young now, and seven, eight, nine. One of his oldest, which was with us this weekend, is 12, almost 13. This stuff keeps coming up, keeps coming up, and, and we have kids. He has grandkids that's, that's old enough to understand and comprehend. Um, like we said, everybody has moved on. That was 40 years ago. He made a mistake. His son is not a mistake. He loved his son. But everybody has moved on. Leave past where it's at. People attack me all the time. I have got over 2,000 uh, friend requests on Instagram this past weekend. I guess because this mess has resurfaced again. Make sure to hit that like button for me if you haven't already. That helps this YouTube channel continue to grow. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Stay up to date with all of my current YouTube videos. Peace. And I'm just not going to accept anybody because why? Like everybody moved on. If they want to continue to uh, get their nuts off, so to speak, about that part of thing, let them. Because they attack me and say, keep your daughter away from him. He's like, no, he doesn't. Do not. I, have, I do not worry about my daughter being around my dad. Nobody does. Everybody has moved on. Leave the past where it's at. Period. Mm -hmm. do, do you feel like they don't ever let black men specifically move on from the things they've done? No. Uh, honor for something this this has to be resurfaced like mm -hmm. it was 40 years ago move on people right and and i understand that because you don't want your granddaughter you don't want all the grandkids to know him of that they want to be able to enjoy the good side of being the mailman you know the and good they parts are of enjoying the good side. they all love their papa to death we all all his kids love it love his uh love him to death everybody has moved on we had a great weekend in utah and we're gonna continue to have great family um, trips and times together and making memories, positive, good memories. Don't nobody want to keep here dwelling on what happened in the past. I that, mean, if, if that, we that, keep dwelling in the past, we everybody going to be stuck in the past and be miserable. Life's too short for that. Yeah. He said uh, that they don't talk about Elvis in, in his past with underage girls. He's, he's known for being the king of rock, not for being with underage girls or, or anything like that. So I do think it's a difference, but. They always want to continue to tear the black men down. It's been their way for years. Well, and we're going to stick by him. We're going to support him. We're going to love him. And we don't give a damn what nobody else say or think. <laughs> we're okay. We're good over here. Y'all can continue to be miserable and play and talk and bully people from behind the internet. We're good. Everybody is good over here, okay? It ain't your business. Just like Chris Brown and Rihanna said. But see, those type of celebrities have to be controlled by the people. And that's sad because to me, they really wanted to be together. 
Um, they didn't talk about Dana White when Dana White slapped his wife like three times in the face, slapped her to the ground, and then picked her back up. Um, but they they always bring up Chris Brown. Uh, they say when 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 they saw that Dana White hit his wife, they said, well, his wife hit him first. And and when Rihanna did that interview, Rihanna alluded to the fact that she may have hit Chris Brown first. And I'm, I'm still not giving him a pass to do what he did. But if you're going to give a pass to Dana White saying that uh, his wife hit him first, then what's, what's the difference? Nicole, let's be honest. That's what it seems like. So, in my opinion, the color. So. Yep. Yeah. Jerry Jones, when they, they saw him on the steps, looking like he was helping, uh, like with, with an angry mob, stopping those black kids from getting into the school, Stephen A. came out and said, oh, Jerry Jones is my friend. He don't deserve to be talked about like that. <laughs> like, this is all they do. Yeah. But... So. Okay, guys, and that's the end of that video. Salute to It's Just Gems, a.k.a. Gems I View. I'll have her channels down below. Y'all should go check out her YouTube channels. She posts daily, and she stays up to date with current viral news and hot topics, so y'all definitely should go check out her videos. I want to hear y'all thoughts on this. You know, after hearing his daughter speak, if y'all missed what his son, KJ, has said about it, Y'all should go check out that video. I'll have it linked down below or it should be popping up right now at the top left of your screen. That is Carl Malone's son, KJ, responding to the news. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for me if you haven't already. That helps my YouTube channel continue to grow. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. And we out. Peace.